Hello Libra, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at the person that you are thinking about, connecting with, or will be connecting with in the near future. What are the energies between you? How do you feel about each other? Um, what thoughts or feelings you have for the other person? Uh, all right, so let's get into it for Libra spirit regarding the person they are thinking about. This will be for those of you that are already in some sort of connection at this time or have someone in mind for Libra, please. Regarding the person they are thinking about or in a connection with at this time, what are they thinking or feeling about Libra or this connection? What are they thinking or feeling? Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, and subscribed. I really appreciate it, especially those of you that take the time out of your day to be so positive and kind in the comments. Thank you so much for that. We're just going to get right into this for Libra, please. What are they thinking? What are they thinking or feeling regarding Libra? Empathy. I'm open to seeing both sides of the situation. This reminds me of the hangman, uh, someone that's able to surrender and see things from a different angle, a different perspective. I am open to seeing both sides. I feel like a person is putting themselves in your shoes at this time, Libra. <laughs> Funny that I said surrender. There's surrender. I can release my need to control. Definitely. This is hangman energy for sure. This is someone who is open-minded, uh, seeing things in a new way and not being afraid of what they encounter. Because a lot of people are closed-minded or narrow-minded because they don't want to find out what's on the other side okay so what's next here judgment i understand that everyone has their own unique paths and challenges definitely maybe your person judged you libra too quickly maybe they were quick to judge quick to um assume things um and it got them in trouble maybe they're realizing that they were wrong about something or maybe they their judgment was blocked regarding a situation with you so let's see what would this person tell you if they could i'm going to be using my homemade oracle deck what would this person tell libra spirit if they could what would this person say what would this person tell libra if they could what haven't they they communicated that they wish they could? Oh. Restoring balance. So again, yes, this, this is all about being open-minded and possibly wanting to make something right. We'll see. What else would this person tell Libra if they could? Yep, I'm ready to open up. Yep. It's at the bottom. Please forgive me, definitely. Very clear messages here for you, Libra, which is always exciting. <laughs> All right, so let's see what's going on in your connection. I'm gonna pull some romance angels to see what happened here. What happened here? What else? Do we need to know spirit regarding this connection what else do we need to know what happened here in this connection let's see heart to heart conversations honestly discuss your feelings with each other definitely maybe that's part of the restoring balance you know being honest about how someone feels um and that could go both ways what else do we need to know passion allow your heart and soul to sing with joy okay chemistry here always nice <laughs> i'm also seeing that card as like action motivate motivation 
to act on something, something that you feel strongly about. We'll see if I'm right about that when we look at their intentions. What else do we need to know for Libra? Unrequited love reverse. So if you were wondering if you were the only one that felt this way, or if you were wondering if, you know, maybe you were alone in how you felt, um, that's not the case. This is not an unrequited love situation. You both feel the same about each other, which is always good, right? <laughs> All right, so Light Seers Tarot is the deck I'm using today. And I'm doing a simple spread today. I'm going to pull some cards for how they feel about you, what they're thinking. And then I'll pull some cards for their true intentions. What are their intentions towards you? Okay, for a Libra spirit. Thoughts or feelings about Libra and their intentions, please. For Libra. Regarding the person they are thinking about at this time. Alright, Libra, let's get into this. Start with how they feel or think about you or this connection. What is Libra's person's thoughts and or feelings about? Libra or this connection. Spirit, can you give us some insight, please? On Libra's person, their thoughts and or feelings about. Okay. We got the Hermit reversed. Virgo energy with the Hermit reversed there. Thoughts or feelings towards Libra. For this situation spirit, what is Libra's person thinking or feeling at this time? Ten of Cups reverse. Interesting. So I feel like they're very um they're unhappy, emotionally overwhelmed, drained, disappointed. The Ten of Cups reverse is like huge disappoint disappointment. They could be having family issues as well. With the Hermit Reverse, this is someone that literally is like they want to run away or escape, or maybe they weren't listening to their intuition about something or not wanting to receive advice or counsel. We'll see. Tell me more about how this person thinks or feels about Libra or this connection. Strength reversed. Interesting. Leo energy here. And I want to take this one too. High priestess reversed. Definitely. I feel like your person was ignoring their intuition about something. Um, they were lacking control over their emotions. Um, feeling like they lack courage or confidence. Um, and it's almost like their intuition was trying to speak to them. They were trying to... Um, you know, it's almost like they, they wouldn't listen to advice. They wanted to do it their way. Um, there could be something also that this person wants to say, wants to open up here with the high priest is reversed, but they don't have the confidence or the courage to do that. And bottom of the deck, I have the three of cups reversed. So for some of you here, um, this is a third party situation. There's something interfering here. It could be another partner. It could be family. It could be friends. It could be distance or finances. Something here is interfering. And I think also it could be your person's lack of confidence or courage. So let's see. What is your person's true intentions? What are their true intentions towards Libra spirit? What are their true intentions? Towards Libra. Way too many. What is this person's true intentions towards Libra? Queen of Wands. That's that passion card. The passion, the chemistry, the motivation to act is there. Their intentions is to go after what they want 
we have a death card here, Scorpio energy. Um, your person might need to change or put an end to something here. Transform. They could be wanting to transform this situation to restore the balance here. One more, please. What is this person's true intentions towards Libra? What are their true intentions towards Libra? The sun. Notice how all of their feelings and thoughts are reversed and all of their intentions are upright. It's almost like they have, um, they have good intentions or positive intentions or they're not blocked in their intentions because reversals are not bad cards. It just means that there's some sort of either um, something that needs to be looked at more closely or something that requires focus or a change. Um, that's usually what reversals mean. They, they don't mean that they're negative or toxic cards at all, but it's almost like your person like knows what they want, has no blockages when it comes to their intentions, very clear minded when it comes to their intentions because they see clearly now. Bottom of the deck, I again have the three of cups reversed. So let's get into this. Let's, let's, let's clarify some of these. Tell me about the hermit reverse with the high priestess reverse. I find them to be the same energy. Why is the hermit reverse with the high priestess reverse? Queen of Cups. This has to do about who they love. They ignore it. What's at the bottom? They ignored their intuition. Yeah, they probably weren't open or honest with you. Um, they probably uh, reacted in a way that they regret or acted towards you in a way that they regret. Why the strength card reverse? Why is the strength card reverse? Two of wands reversed. So I've been working on a secret project, you guys, um, where I have to do more research on the tarot. And so I'm learning a lot of things, especially about cards that are a little bit more difficult to grasp right away. And for me, that card was always two of wands was one of those cards. Um, two of wands reverse. What I've learned recently is this is some, this, this could be, um, when it comes to love, um, that someone here had, um, either hesitated going after what they wanted. Um, they could have had the wrong intention. Um, and so things didn't work out. Um, they could have lost their drive or passion for something. Um, it could also be infidelity. So I feel like your person in some way here, when it comes to, you know, with strength reversed, which is like a lack of courage, um, lacking confidence. I feel like they, they possibly hesit hesitated waited too long um or had the wrong intention here could have also been infidelity for some of you but i'm not picking that up very strongly um yeah bottom of the deck here justice reversed something here was either deceptive um there was a lack of balance there was injustice done here and it pro probably was towards you and i feel like this is very it, it caused a lot of unhappiness and disappointment here so let's see, what's this Queen of Wands about? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy here with the Queen of Wands. Strong Leo energy here, by the way. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo, or it could be a water sign, a Virgo, or Scorpio. Well, Scorpio is a water sign. All right, tell me more about the Queen of Wands. judgment reversed definitely i feel like they want to act um their intention i feel is like to restore their bad judgment call seven of cups reversed so there's um there's clarity here there's no confusion no fogginess no illusions here about their mistake can i get one more for the queen of wands I get one more for the Queen of Wands, please. Okay. 
King of Cups reversed. Yeah, they screwed up bad. King of Cups reversed, Queen of Cups upright. So I feel like, yeah, when they think about you, you are their Queen of Cups. Someone very loving, nurturing, someone they have a lot of emotion for, a lot of passion for. But they themselves are still kind of beating themselves up for, yeah, the mistake that they made. Maybe they weren't able to commit. Maybe they they said things they regretted. Maybe they try to manipulate a situation. Um, I feel like they want to re restore this balance, restore this fracture. They're, they're a mess without you. I can tell you that right now. Ten of Cups reverse, King of Cups reverse. This, is, this person is a mess. I feel like they're with the strength reverse, they, their emotions were all over the place and they didn't know how to deal with them. Can I get one more for the Queen of Wands? Can I get one more, please, for the Queen of Wands? Yep. World reversed. There's no closure here. They want, again, it's like they want this new beginning. They want a new chapter, a new cycle. Page of Swords. It's like they're watching, waiting, doing research, wanting to talk to you um, because they want to fix this. So let's see, what's Seth about for Libra? What's Seth about? What's death about? Chariot reverse, switching direction, changing paths. I, mean, I think it has to do with the third party. Cancer energy here. Can I get one more for death? Three of Cups reverse. This happened with the Gemini reading as well. Like I, I would just get the bottom of the deck as the clarifier as if to say like that is a message. Knight of Swords reverse at the bottom. It, it, again, I'm, I'm getting the sense that this is not going to be easy for your person. Whatever ending or transformation they want. Whatever choice or different path they're going on here. Um, I feel like there's going to be either delays or blockages in their movement in their transition tell me about the sun happiness clarity success tell me about the sun seven of cups reverse definitely so this could be about clarity of a situation here yeah about what they truly want Nine of Cups. They know exactly what they want. Their intention is to get what they want. To make a change. Can I get one more for the sun? For Libra. Yep, Queen of Swords. Talk things out. Communicate clearly and honestly. Bring things to light. Talk about you know, maybe what happened in the past, what didn't work out with the Five of Swords reverse, maybe admitting to you um, what they um, what they deceived you about or what they didn't tell you in the past or how things went down, what they've probably been through since, you know, whatever happened between you. There's definite clarity about what they want their wish you know i feel like you are their wish fulfillment you are what they are wanting in a partner you are the path they want to go on now and they're ready to tell you this um they're ready to possibly admit that they feel the same way um that they see things differently now and that they want to open up and communicate about that i hope that this uh, reading was enough for you and resonated with you and you got some sort of information about your person, how they feel, um, their true intentions.